What's going on guys, it is Michael. Welcome back to another full day of eating video. These have been getting really good responses, so here is another one for you. Full day of eating from start to finish. If you wanna know my macros, stick around till the end and I'll have those up on the screen. But let's go ahead and start this one. A new full day of eating right here. Just woke up in the morning right now, it is about 7.45. And here's what I'm going to have for meal one. So right here, I've just got 35 grams of whey protein. And instead of using water to mix it, I used one cup of this low-fat chocolate milk. I'm going to have three of these fish oil pills. And then here, if you've watched a lot of my day of eating videos, you know that I love oatmeal for breakfast. This is 80 grams topped off with one tablespoon of peanut butter. A little bit later, I've been doing some work at my computer. Just going to get some carbs real quick. Got a banana right here and a birthday cake flavored Pop-Tart. They're delicious. Right now, I'm actually in the process of editing a video you guys probably already saw. First time going to this new gym. I talked about like training environments and stuff. Check it out, there's probably a link on the screen. Thought it turned out pretty well. Got a little baseball going on right now. So I just finished up editing that video. I had to go to the store and buy some batteries for the microphone. Whipped up this bad boy right here for lunch. Doesn't look like much, but down at the bottom, I've got about 200 grams of broccoli. Steam that up in the microwave. And then underneath the rice, I have four scrambled eggs. And up top, I have 80 grams dry rice. So I just boiled that up on the stove. Easy meal. I don't have any chicken ready to go right now. So I've got the oven preheated, and right after I finish eating that lunch, I'm gonna make some chicken. I've just been a little lazy lately, kinda doing the whey protein and the eggs thing, but I'm in the mood for some chicken. I'll cook that up and have that later. A little bit later in the day, I just went and did a push workout, did some overhead press, 155, five by five, and then some hammer strength plate machines. This is what I'm gonna have for just a post-workout meal. And I do have that chicken that I talked about earlier. I finally cooked it up, ready to go. Just keeping it simple. Plain chicken breast with a little bit of pepper and Fiesta lime mustache. But the post-workout meal that I'm having, just quick and easy here, is two servings of these Fruit Loop imitation. It's the Great Value brand, but they taste the exact same. Two of these cookies, also just like Chips Ahoy, but again, the generic version. Doesn't matter, it's just a little bit cheaper and it tastes the same to me, and then 60 grams of whey protein. Tonight the NCAA tournament is on, so I might go out to eat with some friends, but if I do, I'll be sure to take a picture of it. Well, scratch going out to eat, because in the town that I live in right now, there's a tornado watch, and about three years ago where I lived, there was a tornado, killed like 150 people so whenever there's a tornado watch now people usually don't go out so what I've got here is eight ounces of the chicken I cooked up earlier one can of pinto beans and at the very bottom there's 150 grams of cauliflower and then I'm just gonna have a bottle of water with it and this is what I'm gonna have before bed starting on the right 50 grams of whey protein and one cup of orange juice I usually have orange juice with my breakfast, but didn't get it today. I had the chocolate milk instead. Then I'm gonna have one more of these cookies and 20 grams of almonds, and that will finish out my macros completely. And that's it for the full day of eating. I know I'm gonna get some questions about why am I eating Pop-Tarts, cookies, and cereal. Well, they fit into my macros. That's why I have the smartphone app called MyFitnessPal. As long as I'm not going into a really large surplus of calories, I track it all, I weigh it all. You guys saw how meticulous I am with everything that I eat throughout the day. But anyway, as long as I'm hitting my numbers and not going into a surplus of like 500, 600 calories every single day for a long period of time, I'm not really too worried about gaining weight. You can afford to be flexible with your diet, but it's all about being accountable and making sure that you're tracking it all. It's easy once you get the hang of it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, feel free to give it a like. Check out the cookbook down below in the description. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you want, and I'll talk to you later.